morning. <laughs> You're gonna let me put that in the washing machine now. Don't be getting comfy. Don't be getting comfy. It's raining, it's windy, but I've had my nice cup of tea and I'm about to have some breakfast. But before I have my breakfast, I've got to show you what arrived yesterday. Al Haramain. So in one of my previous videos, you may have seen me speaking about Al Haramain perfume oils and that I purchased about, about seven or eight of these perfumes and I was going to trial them and test them out and let you know what I thought of them. Well, Al Haramain got in touch with me and these have been so kindly gifted to me and I just thought, you know what, I'm going to unbox them here. I've got no idea what's in here. They're still wrapped. I've opened them out of the envelope that they came in, but I've got no idea what's in the box. So I thought, I'm going to pull the camera out and I'm going to film the video. First impressions of these. I've got everything. Oh, see now, that is everything. I feel like it's my birthday. How gorgeous is that? And then we've got this one that's like very, like, Valentine's-y. Let's go with it. This is Al Haramain. Oh, Amber Oud. I've not got this one. Oh my God, I know it's gonna smell amazing. I just know it's gonna smell beautiful. Oh my gosh, I love it, but I can smell it. I can smell it before I've even got it out. <gasps> the box is just gorgeous. How lovely is that? Oh my word. So this is Amber Oud and it is EDP and it's 60 mil. Bottle's gorgeous. Let me show you the bottle. The bottle is beautiful. I've got to smell. I've got to smell. Oh my gosh, I'm going to sound like I'm exaggerating, but oh my word, it is unreal. It smells like something, but you know when you, you smell a fragrance and you're trying to determine what fragrance it is? Oh my word, it smells beautiful. Spray it on here as well. is just gorgeous that is my type of smell very oozy very woody mm -mm -mm. this one is just gorgeous uh, i smell a very woody tangy oozy smell it's quite hard to describe but i can smell ginger the first thing i can smell is ginger and it's just absolutely beautiful but i'm gonna let you know what the top notes are in this scent the top note is ginger black pepper cinnamon and tobacco leaf smells absolutely gorgeous i'd say this is more of a unisex fragrance and now i'm gonna open this one which is oh it's al haramain janoon rose so this is a 75ml EDP and it's the Al Haramain Janoon Rose. Oh, the box is gorgeous. That's so going to look lovely in my new bedroom. <laughs> oh, here goes. Oh, my word. Oh, my word. It's 10. It's 10. The perfume's pink. Can you see it? Oh, my gosh. 10 it's 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 not even 10 it's it's 12 it's 12 oh my word this is just me this is just me it smells beautiful but i'm gonna get the 
fragrance list up to tell you what's in it because we all have our favourites. Like with me, it's bergamot. I absolutely love perfumes that have bergamot. So this one is called Janoon Rose. I'm going to include down below where you can purchase these from. You can get them from alharamain.co.uk or if you're not in the UK, then you can get them from alharamain.com. I'm just going to double check now, but yeah, alharamain.co.uk or alharamain.com. This one is, there you go. It's bergamot, ylang ylang and cherry blossom. They're the top notes. That's why I absolutely love it. I love bergamot and perfumes, absolutely my favourite smells. And then the middle notes are powdery, heliotrope, rose and amaretto. And the base notes are amber, tonka bean and suede. This perfume is absolutely beautiful. They are my Al Haramein perfumes that were kindly gifted to me from Al Haramein. I'm so grateful that they sent them to me, so thank you so much. You can find all the details for these perfumes in the description box down below. I would say this one is more of a manly smell, but this one is just beautiful. If you're ever out and you see me and you come over, stop me, because the chances are I'm wearing this perfume. So I'll let you smell me. I'll leave all the details in the description box down below so that you can have a little look on Al Haramein and see if there's any fragrances that you would like to purchase, but I highly recommend the Janoon Rose. It's beautiful. So, what are we doing today? I've got absolutely no plans. I'm in work tonight on a late, and yeah, I'm going to catch up with you. I'm going to go and get some breakfast because I'm absolutely starving and I need something to eat. Feeling so small, watch the clock ticking off the wall. But tonight I'm letting it go. Spend my coin for sure. I'm gonna be myself, or I could be someone else. No one's stopping me now. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. I just wanna feel alive. Just what I do when I'm out, so try. I'm literally having the laziest day ever. I've stripped the bed, turned the washing machine, it's now in the tumble dryer. Well, it was in the washing machine, it's now in the tumble dryer. And I've had my breakfast, as you've seen, but I'm so caught up in The Stranger on Netflix. Highly recommend it if you haven't seen it. I'm just about to have a quick snack for lunch just a cup of soup and some bread, but I thought that I would show you the Stone Glow air diffuser. It smells good. I've just popped it there, but it's been on for probably about 40 minutes and it smells absolutely gorgeous. I've got this one in, the grapefruit and mimosa, and it just smells lovely. It's just little wafts and yeah absolutely loving the stone glow reed diffuser i'll link that in the description box below but i was sent this to do a giveaway on instagram so yeah that's my little stone glow air diffuser and i'm absolutely loving it but right now i'm starving so i'm very basic and i'm gonna have oh oh i was very blue then i'm gonna have a little chicken cup of soup with two rounds of bread so Try not to hold me down Feel alive when I'm in this town Look at those beautiful stars I wanna drive a faster car Nothing can break me, no, no, nothing can break me Try not to hold me down Feel alive when I'm in this town Look at those beautiful stars I wanna take a trip to Mars Nothing can break me, no, no, nothing can break me very loud snoring that peg. Chicken soup isn't for you. And I did share a little bit with you, didn't I? Of my chicken soup. I shared a little bit with you, but you shouldn't really have it. You had a lazy day, haven't you, Peg, with your mum? Hi. I highly recommend this stranger if you're looking for something to binge watch on Netflix really good and I'm sucked in but I've got to go to work soon have an eye peg hey. I've got to go to work soon have an eye works a dirty ways isn't it 
Hey, we don't like it when mummy goes to work, do ya? Hey, mummy gotta go to work. I gotta go to work. Today? Have I? Your cheeky face as well. You are. Good morning, everyone. Cracking on with the bedroom today. Hopefully, gonna get the wall panels up and finished. At least cut them all because, as you see, <laughs> it didn't go down too well, me cutting them. Pieces of wood with the mitre saw and the mitre block. I was just scared, more than anything, I was scared of losing a finger. So I have got Lee to cut the rest of them. I cut what you're seeing on camera and Lee has done the rest. So I've got them. I'll just show you. They're all here, ready to go. He's kind of just cut them all, laid them out, and I'm going to stick them on the wall. I'm just going to use no nails to stick them. I could put a tack in the wall as well to hold it in place, but no nails are supposed to stick it within like a couple of minutes or something like that. In fact, I need to check that. If grip fill is being used in vertical application, temporarily support may be required. I'm not going to support it. I'm just going to go for it. <laughs> So I presume that this piece is the top. So I'm gonna do this one first. He said if I just click this a few times. Here we go. It should. And then I'm not gonna to worry too much. I'm not gonna to worry too much about the edges because I can fill them with decorator's cork. So, <laughs> wish me luck, here goes. I'm acting surprised, but I know I'm not over you. I keep missing a fight, even though there's an overdue. We had a fire, now we're watching it burn. I'm falling behind, falling behind, I hate to separate my body and mind, my body and mind. Ooh, ooh, I feel like, ooh, ooh, I feel like demons in my mind, demons, demons in my mind. Ooh, ooh, it tastes like, ooh, ooh, it tastes like demons in my mind, demons pushing all my triggers. should have maybe put a little nail in to secure it. I'm going to sweep you off so you can have a good look or a good laugh, whichever it may be. But it's straight. I've got a little tiny gap, but this is basically where it should have had a nail in to just hold it secure. And then I've got a gap this side as well, but that's just where it's not pressing to the wall properly. But overall job is a good one i need to get that little bit of filler off there not filler what's it called no nails but i'm quite happy with that I'll swoop you off and let you have a little look. But that's the panel on that side. Done. Any little gaps like here that you can see and here can be filled with decorator's cork. Lee did pen out on the wall where I was to stick the panel in. So I did have a little bit of help there, but that's it. It's done. I'm just going to have to wait for it to set. 
how gorgeous does my new headboard look by the way absolutely love it but yeah that's it i was gonna put some paneling across the top here but then i thought no because the headboard's so high i'm just gonna make the feature either side i just need to find new cushions and a new throw to go on the bed and then um bedsides table lamps or something else that i need because the ones that i've got my original ones i think are just too tall but they'll do for now so yeah this is how the bedroom's looking i just need to find myself some nice new bedding some nice bedside lamps but it's getting there the paneling's done so the next time you see this it's going to be painted and this is where we're up to the bedroom is almost finished i just can't find anything to go in the square panel and so I think I'm going to go back to the original idea of just having some tall lampshades and leaving the panel empty but I would like to put some little fairy lights across the top of the bed. I think they'd look gorgeous but I absolutely love it where it's up to now. Hopefully in next week's vlog this will all be finished. I'm just looking for some new bedding, a new throw and some cushions for the bed. I'm going to put my cabinet back in from Ikea because at the moment this it's very white very white but this wall is still clear i haven't put the mirror or anything up there yet i haven't even found a mirror for there so i'm still looking for a mirror for that wall as well but i got these boxes which will go on the ikea stand and i absolutely love them they're just two boxes these were on pre-order from all that jazz and they are out of stock again now for a few weeks and i also got this vase Stay tuned for next week's vlog because I'm going to plant an orchid in this, a nice tall one. So when it stands on the floor, hopefully the orchids will reach about here. So that's what I'm going to do for next week's vlog. I really hope that you've enjoyed this vlog and I'm sorry that the bedroom's not finished. I was really hoping to have it finished this weekend, but it's not going to happen. And there's no point in me rushing it. My ceiling light still hasn't arrived. So when it's all come together perfectly, I'll share it. And hopefully that will be in next Sunday's vlog. So stay tuned for the final look of my bedroom. Please don't think I'm dragging it out. I'm not. It's just unfortunate that I literally haven't had five minutes to go out and find new bits. But I'll do that next week. And yeah, that's it everyone. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I will see you all in my next video. Bye for now.